Um, I never said I, I was the best fighter out there. I can just say I have a lot of effort. This is to be the best that I can be. You know, I do I do this for a lot of reasons, a lot of good reasons. My father, as you know, um, come from, from Cuba, um, came here in 1980, and he basically, um, he came here for opportunity. And now he's able to see his son live out his dreams and, and be the middleweight champion, which is only appropriate that somebody give me my belt right there. Papi, dame, dame eso. That's, that's, that's my old pops right there. But, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah. This right here, man, I worked all my hard life. When, when people told me that I couldn't even be a champion or I couldn't be anything besides a criminal entering your house when you're not there. But I just know that one thing that I did was, you know, um, I just dedicated myself. I sacrificed myself every day to not only defend this and to receive this, but to inspire the world through what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Like, not a, a lot of people um, need some type of a, a form of inspiration. I think I'm that for them. Um, I think if y'all just give me a little credit, man, I'm gonna go out there and, and, and try my best. Regardless, if I have to take a loss to learn about myself, I'm willing to do so. But until then, we're gonna keep on winning. We're gonna keep on putting awesome fights. We're gonna keep fighting on Showtime, because Showtime right now is the, the network to go to to watch for boxing. I wanna thank you, Steve. Just, just giving me the, the opportunity to fight on, on a network that's got so much great, exciting fights. I want to thank Golden Boy for just giving me an opportunity just to showcase my talent and give out to the world what I'm trying to do. I want to thank my family. I want to thank Bernard Hopkins, man, personally, because this guy right here, man, I don't even know behind the scenes. This guy tells me a lot and teaches me a lot that it's able, I'm able to go in the, in the gym and just put a, a hard workout in and just think about him doing it at the age he's doing it at, and he's giving inspiration to a lot of guys that's older that think they can do something, you know what I'm saying? And that's a blessing right there. I want a special shout out to my wife right there, who's, you know, uh, through my last camp, if you you guys knew that she, she um, suffered a miscarriage with our baby, and, you know, I, I told her through everything, you have to um, learn about yourself through a struggle, you know, I, I come from the floor, you know? So, you know, now she's pregnant again, and we, we're expecting our, our baby, so thank you. I just hope that I pray every day that I can just be the best father I can be, the best husband to her, best family man, the best friend to my friends, the best son to my old ass pops. You know what I'm saying? I love him. But most importantly, I just best I just hope that I can just be the best boxer I can be. And I hope that if you guys truly believe in that, then y'all support me. So thank you guys. I wanna thank everybody, the New York State Athletic Commission. I wanna thank every all the media here, who's gonna write either negative or positive about me? I don't give a fuck, so I'm motivated. I'm an animal. I wanna give a special um, shout out to Al Heyman because you know, without him right now, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at as far as you know my boxing. I also wanna thank my managers who always been there for the best advice they can give to me. And you know what? I can just say I love y'all. Thank y'all for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm honored to see you. Council General of Kazakhstan, uh, Raushan Yispulatva. Uh, and I'm also glad to see people from my native country, Kazakhstan. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'd like to thank my manager, El Heyman, Golden Boy Promotions, Steven Espinosa, Showtime, for uh, giving me opportunity To have this kind of fight. And speaking of uh, Bernard Hopkins, he's a boxing genius. He's a legend who beat so many other legends. He's, he's got highest boxing IQ and he's got highest uh, boxing skill level. And uh, I'm very excited that I'm fighting with uh, one of the greatest fighters ever and that's a way for me to show the world that I'm the best light heavy champion in the world so. So. don't miss out April 19th it will be a historic event it will be a lot of actions and excitement thank you one thing I wanted to point out, 
I agree with what you, what you heard earlier about the, his, the historical fight. But what we have to understand now, dealing with Bernard Hopkins, is everything that he does now, every interview that the media you have with him now, every walkout, every robe, every mouthpiece he pulls out now is history. Every move he makes is history now. Not just in the ring, but outside the ring. So as he travels to the different mediums to talk to the radio personalities and, he, and you guys get your interviews, he, we're being treated. He could walk away tomorrow. He could be Babe Bushaminoff and say, I'm done. So make sure you're in attendance. Make sure you're there because he owes us nothing. He's given us everything and he owes us nothing and we have to appreciate it. And I say this not only we're working with him, but I have a high, high, uh, a high level of respect for Mr. Shumanov because like he said, 30 in, in boxing, in our sport, 30 is actually getting old. Shumanov is a young 30 because he did everything with such a fast learning curve. So he's not a guy who had who's who's worn down from getting elbowed in his fifth pro fight and, and had 25 fights before we ever saw him. This guy was already champion before he was in double digits. Prospect, contender, title. Now you build the foundation becomes now the legacy, and that's where history is being recorded. And so that's something that uh, you know you look forward to and understanding that did because you get the belts that's fine, but now he has a belt, he has a belt. Now you have to build that legacy, but you go through those channels, those steps, and then you became the champion. Now you build off that because more got belts, they all over the place, and now you just build your legacy. That's that's what I want to say to everybody. Understand how I had to come up in the ranks. How I was on undercards of Mike Tyson in 1988, uh, and Ray Bo here in DC, well, in DC rather, um, when he fought Jesse Ferguson and I fought Roy Jones Jr. Those growth and those lessons mature me to be ready for the big fight. The signature fight will be the foundation you build off, that signature name, or whoever that name is. So I just want to say that to let everybody know that ties in with my history and why I'm here today. Well, at the end of the day, Father Tom says to me, we talk every now and then, <laughs> have fun. You got time. Well, everybody's asking me about my age because their stomach is out this big. <laughs> because they eating bagels. They ain't drinking wine. Join yourself. That's what you want to do. But when you see me, <laughs> Don't be envy, be motivated, be energized, woman or man, and say to yourself, how can I start to be like him? How can I take a page out of his book and have a long life and play with my grandkids for some? And so for me, I say to you, when you see me April 19th in DC on Showtime, be inspired. Be inspired that if you're near 40, if you're over 40, over 50, over 60, be like, man, it's never too late to change your lifestyle. Only when you're dead. Thank you.